Hi students and learners. Today we are going to discuss determination of order for a given reaction using half-life. First, the learners and students want to know what is a half-life. For an instant, I am taking a reactant. It is converted into product. Whether it is whatever the order, here reactant is converted into product. For the sake of convenience, I am taking 100 moles of the reactant. The time taken to complete 100 moles into 50 moles is called as half-life. The time taken to complete half of the reaction is called half-life. It is represented with T half. And initial concentration of the reactant for the convenience represented with the small a. This is called initial concentration. The relation between half life and any order initial any order reaction, the relation between half life and initial concentration for any order is represented as 1 my a power 1 minus n. So suppose T1 and T2 are the half lives for two different concentrations for a given order is represented like this. So this is the mathematical approach to find the order of the reaction. This can be simplified by taking logarithms log of T1 by T2 is equal to 1 minus N into log of a1 by A2. So it can be simplified as 1 minus N is equal log of T1 by minus sorry log T2 by log of A1 minus log of A2. This is the simple mathematical formula to find the order of the reaction. To in, to explain in detail, I am taking an example. Take a look. Students, I am taking an example for better understanding. I am taking the reaction like this. Suppose, this is I am taking initial concentration and it is 100%. After T1 time, it is converted into 50%. After T2 time, it is converted into 25% after T3 time it is converted into 12.5% in all the cases this is the time taken to complete half of the reaction here this is half half this is also T half and this is also T half right suppose for instance for a given zero order reaction for a given zero order reaction half life and initial concentrations are directly related t half is proportional to a power a power 1 therefore here t1 is not equal to t2 t2 not equal to t3 right or this can be expressed in another way T1 is greater than T2, T2 greater than T3. Students have a doubt why T1 greater than T2 greater than T3. Here half life is inversely directly proportional to initial concentration. That's why here initial concentration is 100%. And here it changes to 50%. Whenever the initial concentration decreases, its half-life decreases. For instance, for instant, in the same zero order reaction, let T1 is equal to 100 minutes, then time taken to T1 means T half, T half is 100 minutes, then, then T2 value is equal to how much 50 minutes and t3 value is 25 minutes in another words the time taken for this order 
T50% is equal to 100 minutes and for T75% reaction time taken is 100 plus 50 minutes that is equal to 150 minutes is required and for the completion of T87.5 here required time is 100 plus 50 plus 25 that is equal to 175 minutes required. So students in zero order reactions in zero order reactions as the initial concentration decreases its half life decreases. Come to the same example same reaction taking in a taking as a first order reaction. Students for first order reactions for first order reaction T half is independent on initial concentration. T half is independent on initial concentration. Therefore here T1 is equal to T2 is equal to T3. This is for first order reaction. For example let let T1 is 100 minutes, 100 minutes, then T1, T50 percent time is equal to T1 that is equal to 100 minutes and T75 percent is equal to 2 T1s that is equal to 200 minutes and T87.5 percent is equal to 3 T1s that is equal to 300 minutes. Now we are taking the second order, the second order reaction. I am taking the same reactant but it follows the second order kinetics. Here T1, T2, T3. Here the time taken to complete half of the reaction is T half. Here also when compared with this concentration it is decreased to half, here also T half, here also T half. For second order reaction, T half is inversely related to the initial concentration. So on the basis of this relation, let T is equal to 100 minutes, T1 is equal to 100 minutes, therefore T50% for this second order reaction is equal to 100 minutes and time taken to complete 75% of this second order reaction is sum of T1 plus T2. Here T1 is 100 minutes and T2 is because initial concentration decreases to half and it is inversely related so it will become 200 minutes that is equal to 300 minutes time is required and for T75, T87.5 it is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3 this is equal to 100 plus 200 plus 400 that is equal to 700 minutes time is required. So this is order wise. Now I am taking, I am going to compare all the orders for taking a single reaction. Student I am taking a reactant of 100%, it is converted into 12.5% but instant, for in the first instant I will consider it as a zero order and in the second instant it will be considered as the first order and then the second order and one thing here student should remember for this instant, for this example, for the conversion of this 100% to 50% for any given order, I, I will take it as a 100 minutes time. Okay, so taking, taking the first order reaction, zero order reaction, right. Relation between T half and A is T half is proportional to A. Time taken for the completion of 15% already I mentioned here that is 100 minutes. 
right and come to the 75 percent completion here has the time decreases as the initial concentration decreases half life decreases so t75 means 100 plus 50 similarly here it is 175 minutes so this this is the information regarding the zero order taking the first order here t half is independent on initial concentration so here half life is 100 minutes but the initial concentration decreases to half but it will never affect so 100 plus 100 200 minutes and then decreases but never affect so for this completion this much time is required taking the second order t half is inversely proportional to initial concentration and here is 100 minutes as the initial concentration is decreased the time taken to complete the next half is doubled so here it takes 200 minutes 100 plus 200 300 minutes and then here 400 minutes 400 plus 300 it will be 700 minutes so this is the information for finding the uh, half life and the initial concentration relations for any order thank you students